For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I am so excited to unbox my very first box from Trunk Club. Now, if you've never heard of this service before, it's a clothing subscription box, and it's run by Nordstrom. So, if you've ever bought clothes from Nordstrom and you really like the brands that they offer to the style of clothes or the price points, that's kind of what you can expect to come in this box. Now it's also unlike other subscription services that you may have seen me unbox <laughs> that come in a very defined time. The cool thing about these is that you can have your clothing subscription box come to you at your selected frequency. So if you need new clothes every two weeks, or maybe you're like me and you just want a refresh for each season, you could opt for the every three month option like I did so that when the new season rolls around, you can collect one or two new things that you may love throughout that season. Now, some background information that I want you to be aware of is that I was a member of Stitch Fix for several years. And after, I don't know, boxes where I wasn't overly excited about a lot of the items in the box, I decided to try something new. I had heard great things about Trunk Club and I shop at Nordstrom regularly. And so I thought that this would be a better option for me because I've had experiences with both both companies now throughout this video I will be directly comparing and contrasting this to Stitch Fix in case you're curious because I think that's the best way for you to hear about it real time so let's dive into the unboxing okay first impressions the first glaringly obvious difference between Trunk Club and Stitch Fix is the quantity of items that you get in your box with Stitch Fix you get five items in your box every single time you get one no more no less but with Trunk Club you have the option to get more or less than that, just depending on your preference. And so in this particular trunk club, I ended up getting 11 items sent my way that my stylist thought that I would like based on pictures that I uploaded and the profile that I filled out. That is another thing consistent between the two. You do specify the price ranges that you want, your style and your sizes so that your stylist can kind of put together something curated for you. So when you open your box for the first time, I really love that they include this little envelope. And this has a sheet of paper that tells you each item that you received and its price. So that way you can kind of like add things up in your head to be like, ooh, am I keeping too much? Or at least that's how I approach it. You get a nice little note from your stylist on the inside. In addition to the paper that tells you all about the items that come in your box, it also has a shipping label and the little sticky tabs that help close your box securely so that you can send back the items that you don't want. So at the top, it reminds me that you have a $25 styling fee that gets credited toward anything that you keep. So if you were to get a trunk club, you're out $25 regardless, whether you keep something or not. If you do end up keeping at least one item, then that $25 goes toward paying for that item in your box, which is really nice. Now, Stitch Fix has a $20 styling fee, so it's just a $5 difference. And I will say, I think that on the whole, the quality of the clothes is a little bit better in Trunk Club. They are definitely more expensive though. Now that we're done with the details, let's dive into the box because I'm really excited to share it with you. The first item that we have to talk about is actually a little bit of a dud, but one detail that you should know going into this is that all of your items come wrapped in these individual packages with a label. So you're going to need to fold up the clothes that you don't want and put them back into this plastic bag when you go to return them so that they can easily scan the inventory back in. Just keep everything organized as you're trying the clothes on so that you don't get your little plastic bags mixed up. But they do have this little tag with a description so that you can kind of figure out which piece goes with which. So the first item here, these are the ripped high rise slim crop boy jean from Madewell. These are in my size and I'm usually a pretty true size 25 in jeans, but with Madewell specifically, I always have to buy petite sizing. This first pair of jeans, I was so disappointed didn't work out because I specifically said I wanted a straight leg jean that was kind of slim and I wanted it in a light wash. So they really listened when they sent this in the box. Unfortunately, this isn't a petite, so this just really didn't fit me at all. Like they were comically big. And in fact, the waist was so big. Like I think that I had an extra two or so inches, but these jeans are super, super soft and they're in the wash called Dumas in case you were curious because you could probably find these at Madewell right now. They did have this little rip detail in the knees, but unfortunately because they weren't petite, they were just overall too big and too long. So where it was supposed to be a cropped jean, it barely hit above my ankles. So I was super bummed that these didn't work out, but these were $128, which is kind of on the 
pricier end, so I guess it's okay, but I'm still on the hunt now for some straight leg jeans. Maybe we'll just keep this in category, so I'll continue to talk about jeans. And unfortunately, this is another dud, but stick with me because I do have some good ones coming up. So these are the Barbara High Waist Ankle Skinny Jeans. These are size 25. This comes from the brand Hudson Jeans, and it says that the color is just blue. These retail for $99.90, and these were okay. The problem is I didn't need any light wash skinny jeans and these were so tight, like so tight. And it's funny because these are also just a regular 25 and so these also didn't hit me like an ankle jean. These definitely are full length on me, which is totally fine. I don't mind having full length jeans, but to contrast the size of these 25s versus the Madewell 25s, I swear there's like a two inch difference in the waist which was wild to me because both were high rise jeans. So it's not even like they were supposed to be hitting me at different points in my body. So that is one thing that you may run into is that because Nordstrom is sourcing all of these different brands, your sizes are going to vary between them. So keep that in mind that not everything that comes in your box will be a hit, especially if you're somebody that needs petites or something. So because these are so tight and I already have some jeans that pretty much look identical to this, I am going to pass on these jeans as well. This next pair is a super dark wash, which I feel like will just be so classic and I don't have any jeans in this wash. So I'm pretty sure that these are keepers. These are the clean high waist ankle skinny jeans. It's in size 25 again. It's from the brand called Hidden Jeans and it's in the shade blue. And these retail for $75. So definitely the cheapest of the jeans that they sent. And I feel like maybe the most classic and versatile of all that they sent as well. Even though these are a size 25, these actually didn't fit as tight as those other light wash skinny jeans. But the thing that is consistent is that these are ankle jeans and these are definitely full length jeans on me. These are super high quality and I again just feel like a dark dark wash skinny jean can be dressed up, dressed down. It's a really versatile piece that I'm surprised I didn't already have. So I was excited to see this in the box even though it's something that I didn't even ask for which I think is the beauty of clothing subscription services because sometimes they send something that maybe you don't think you need or that you would never try on in store and then you end up falling in love with it. So, so far I think that this is one keep, which I'm really excited about. Okay, the last pair of pants. This was something I actually did kind of ask for and these are the Calson Linen Joggers. These are in size extra small petite, hey -o. so exciting to see that. They're in the shade black and these retail for $59. This is exactly what I was looking for. So what I did is I went through Pinterest and found some pictures of outfits that I liked or different collages of pieces of clothing that I was after and they really delivered on this. In fact, I think I had maybe this exact same pair but in a green color on my little vision board thing and these are so incredibly comfortable. I currently have a pair of black joggers but they're like super thick, supposed to be worn during the winter and this is just the perfect kind of spring and summer answer to that same style because it has lightweight linen and the fact that it's black is not gonna show that they're like super duper wrinkly. And I just think that this is gonna be a great travel pant for the summer. And because it's petite, it actually hits me at the perfect cropped kind of area of my leg. They're also not super duper baggy because short people are having a really hard time with all of these like baggier jeans and wide leg pants and stuff because it's not always the most flattering on shorter people. So I just feel like all in all, this is a, an absolute keep because I think that the linen, it came in a petite. It's a versatile black color. It's just a no brainer. And I specifically asked for it, so very excited to have this in the box. Okay, this is the last kind of bottom <laughs> that was included in the box, and this is the NOLA tie waist denim skirt. It's in size extra small, it's from the brand Rails, in the color green, and it retails for $158. Wow. Too expensive, in my opinion, for a skirt, especially a cargo skirt that's gonna have its moment for like maybe a year, and then I feel like we're all gonna turn our nose up at cargo style things. So this one is a no for me if you can't tell already, but it did fit really well. This was like a true extra small, fit my waist nicely. The tie was flattering. It's just not a style that I would typically go for. Also, one thing to note is that in my survey that I filled out, I put the lowest price range on every category, 50 to $100, just because that's what they're carrying at Nordstrom stores. Now you may end up with some items that are less than that, and you may end up with some items that are 
more than that, but that at least gives them a general range to look in for most of your items. This just isn't my style, so this one's gonna go back, and it doesn't even hurt because it's so dang expensive. Okay, now we're gonna move on to accessories, and then we'll end with the tops. This one is one that I was really excited about. These are sunglasses from the brand called Les Specs, and these are the Bandwagon 51 millimeter sunglasses in the shade brown. They come in one size, and these retail for $59, which when I read that at first, I was like, it's kind of expensive, but I feel like people buy Warby Parker sunglasses all the time. In fact, I have a pair too, and those are 99. So I was like, I feel pretty comfortable keeping these, especially because even while they are a little bit pricey, they are a super duper classic style. Let me put them on for you. Now, one thing I was impressed with off the bat is that this case is really cool. You just pinch the sides here and it opens up and you slide your glasses out, and then it magnetizes shut automatically, which is pretty cool. But these are the glasses. Again, nothing that you probably haven't seen before. I just don't own a pair like this. And I thought that the shape was really nice on my face. I think that they're a good size. They're oversized without like taking up my entire face. And I love that the lenses are super duper dark. I really don't like it when sunglasses aren't doing a ton in the way of, you know, shading you from the sun. <laughs> These are a definite keep for me and something that I feel like as long as I can keep up with them will last forever. Okay, so the next accessory is one that I actually was able to add to my box, which I thought was really cool. And it's this cute little bandana from Madewell. Now, transparently, I already own two of these, but in different patterns and colors, or no, three, maybe I own three of them. I wanted one that was a little bit more neutral than the red, the blue, and the yellow one that I have. So I went with this one because I loved the little kind of daisy print on it. I typically like to wear these as headbands in my hair, whether my hair is in a ponytail or down. I just like that it can kind of keep it out of your face and and look kind of stylish while doing it. But you can also wear these like tied around your neck with a sweater in the winter time, or you could even tie it loosely around your ponytail, and it's just something a little extra. So these retail for $12.50, and this is part of a feature of Trunk Club that I really like. So once you get closer to the checkout screen, they have these three categories that you can choose from. So there's accessories, basics, or something like that, and then other clothes that you can choose from to add to your box. So I only added this because I was thinking about buying one myself anyway, but know that you can add up to three before you go to officially process your box for that time period. And that is a feature that's unique to Trunk Club. Stitch Fix did not have an option where you could pick specific items and add them to your box, because remember you're only getting that set five number of items each time that you get a box. So needless to say, this is a keep because I, I basically shopped for it. Now what stinks about the timing of filming this is that I'm having a really hard time deciding on the shirts because there's two that I'm really kind of waffling back and forth between. I, I don't know what I should do. By the time you're watching this video, I will have already chosen, but I'm interested to know what you think about them anyway in the comments below. So the first top is the Heirloom Ruffle Top. It's in a size extra small. It's from the brand Free People, and they say this is in the color brown. I would definitely call this more of like an orangey tan. And that is honestly why I'm kind of struggling with this top. I think that it is so fun, it's unique, and it fits really well. It's definitely tight around the torso area, so you are definitely supposed to tuck this in when you wear it. I just think that it's something different. It's something that I definitely don't already own, but the color on me is not the best. I feel like I need a color that contrasts my skin a little bit more because this does just kind of blend in, and I don't think that for $78, I should keep something that's not the best color on me. You know what I mean? So maybe I'll look for this in another color, because at least it's good to know that the size extra small truly does fit. I just don't think it's the best look on me. So I'm really sad about this, but loved that they threw it in. What they do is your stylist puts together some items for you initially, and you have a period where you can go in and say, yes, send this item, I wanna try it, or no, remove from my box. So I did that initially to knock out items that were either too expensive or that I knew that I didn't like just looking at them. And then as you go to check out, you have the option to say, do you want your stylist to add a few more pieces to your box that they think that you'll love? and I selected yes to that option. And this is one of the shirts that came that I had never previewed or seen before. So they did a good job, they definitely know my style, but I just think that the color didn't work that well with my skin tone. So I think that this one is a no. Okay, this one is another one that I'm really torn about because I really like it, but the price is just scaring me a little bit. This is the Lakeline Stripe button-up shirt. It's from Madewell, and this is a size extra, extra small. It retails for $72. 
which is a little steep. I wouldn't probably ordinarily spend that much on a button up shirt like this, but it is something unique and something that I don't already own. So I like the pink and blue. I think that those colors look really good together. And you can see that the stripes kind of go in different directions. And I thought that that actually looked really flattering when it was on because we all know horizontal stripes are not always the most forgiving in tops. And so the fact that it has the lines vertically where it really matters, it makes it a flattering kind of oversized top. And so they must have known that this runs big because the extra extra small actually fits me perfectly without being too tight in the arms or anything because it does kind of have this boxy dolman type sleeve situation going on. And that's one thing that this shirt has going for it to me is that this is more classic and can be worn on more occasions without standing out, unlike that very big kind of statement ruffle top. So that's why I'm kind of leaning toward keeping this, but we'll see once I add up my totals and everything to see if maybe I, I don't want to spend that much. It is funny when I tried this on, Brian was like, that looks like a fashionable bowling shirt. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't know if that's the vibe I want to put off. All right, this next option I thought for sure I was going to keep. But as it turns out, it's going back. So this is the Whisper Cotton V-neck tank. It's in size extra small. It's from the brand Madewell. It's in the color white. And this retails for $18.50. So this is what I was trying to explain where you may get items that are under the price range that you state and over the price range that you state. But most of the items in this box fell within the price range that I preferenced on my form, which was $50 to $100. So when I saw this previewed, I was totally sold on it. I thought that the V-neck on this was super flattering and it actually fits me okay, but that's kind of my issue with it, is that it fits me okay. It was a little bit blousey and it is so see-through. Like I think that maybe this shirt in a black would work or maybe a dark gray, but in white, you could clearly see the line where it's like my skin and then my blue jean shorts. And even though I was wearing a nude bra, you could tell that it was a different color from like my stomach area. Because I can be picky in this situation and kind of be on the lookout for maybe a less see-through white tank top, this is going back. Even though it's inexpensive, I feel like I can find a tank top that I would like better that looks a little bit more flattering because while this was an extra small, it was still just a little bit too blousey. Okay, and last but not least is the Eyelet Popover Top. This is in the size extra small from the brand Calson, so the same brand that did the, the linen joggers that were sent earlier in the box. This is in the shade white, and this retails for $49. This shirt on me was just way too big. I felt like this shirt couldn't really decide on what style it wanted to be. I feel like the front of it looks like super businessy and then the sleeves looked just kind of out of place on this shirt and it was so big on me, so oversized. You can see just like looking at it on my form, not the most flattering. It was also see-through so I felt like you would definitely have to wear a shirt under it and I just wasn't in love with the style overall. So this is an easy no for me. Okay, so that is everything in the box and overall I was really pleased. Pleased. I felt like on the whole, I loved more of what came in this box than I've ever loved in a Stitch Fix. Now, they did send more items, so there was definitely more opportunity for me to love more items than when you just get five and that's all you have to choose from. But I just felt like overall, it was more my style. There were more tops that I was willing to give a chance. It just maybe didn't fit me right or maybe wasn't the right color, but it was spot on style-wise. Now, the big con that I see here is the expense. This is definitely not something that I can get every month, and I will definitely keep this at like an every three month pace just as a refresh for each season. So they make it really easy as I outlined in the beginning. So all I'll have to do is pack up the things that I don't want, put the return label on top and then ship that off and check out online. So once you check out, that's when you make your final payment and that styling fee is applied and then you're good to go. And they'll send you another preview of your items for the next season. So in my case, in three months, my stylist will curate another box for me. I'll see what I like and then we'll start this process over. Hopefully this video was enjoyable for you to watch and I hope that it gave you a good sense of the differences between Stitch Fix and Trunk Club in case you were curious. If you like these unboxings, I have plenty on my channel. I'll go ahead and just link the entire playlist in the description down below for you. And if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.